Hello friends, welcome to Power BI World. In today's video, we will see how we can add text boxes, shapes and images in Power BI. So let's get started. So once we create our data bound visuals into Power BI desktop, we can also add some static elements such as text, uh, text boxes, images, buttons and shapes to our report okay so why there is a need to add this uh, text boxes shapes buttons or images into power bi so this is just because once we create any visuals it is to make the user understand that what we are trying to show in our report okay so let's go to the power bi desktop and see a practical approach how we can add text boxes shapes and images into Power BI. Okay, so I am into Power BI desktop, and you can see there is a visualize or there are some visuals that are created into the Power BI canvas. So let's see how we can add this static elements to show the user what exactly we are trying to show. So this is the comments or this is the text that we can add user will be able to understand what exactly we are trying to show in our visuals okay so so to do so what we have to do is go to the insert option and in insert option you see an element which says as text box buttons shapes and images okay so let's create a text box as i said let's click on the text box first and you can see there is a box that has been added in which we can type our text okay so let let us type some text in the box so below below tree map okay gives us profit sorry by sub category okay so this is the text that i have typed uh let me select this and increase the font size so that you can see it okay i can just adjust the text box the way i want okay so this is how we can add a text to show the user what exactly we are trying to show in our visualizations okay so this is an example of a text box how we can add a text box now if i want to add some links to it i can do that as well so uh, let me say that i want to give a link to a web to my website which says www.powerbiworld.com okay so I have to select this and you see an option which says insert link. If I click on this insert link, what happens is it will give you the link here and I have to just click on done. So once I click on done, you can see that link has been added and here you will be able to go and click on that link. Okay, so this is how we can create a text box into Power BI. Okay, so let me delete this okay so now let us add a image so i'll be adding an image which is not related to this particular visualizations that we have created so just to give you an example i have downloaded this image so i'll go and click on image and on my desktop i have an image and i will just click on open okay so as i click on open you can see that there is an image which has been added here okay this is just to show you how we can add an image to power bi okay so let me delete this as well you can also add some buttons and shapes as i said so let's see how we can add some buttons if i click on this drop down i get various options for buttons so i can add a button which says left arrow right arrow i can add a button which says reset i can also add a button which says back information help q a bookmarks and blank okay so these are the various options on buttons that you can add if i click on any of the option to give you an example so you let's take i click on information so you see 
there is a button which has been added which says information and you can increase the size of that button the way you want and now if I want to add a text to this button what I have to do is just click on this box and go to this option now you can see you see a format button option okay just go to the button you can see this option which says button text click on that and just click on the drop down and here you can add the button text so let's say we will add this let's say we will add this as a test button okay so as I type here you can see the test button text has been added here I can increase the size of the text okay so that it is visible to you I can also align the text wherever I want okay so as of now it has been aligned on the right hand side I can increase the text the way I want I can increase the padding size where exactly I want this text okay so you can add the padding you can also add the color the way you want okay so this is how we can add a button and do the formatting the way we want okay you can you can give the outline you can do if you want to fill any color to the background you can do that as well okay so this is how and this is where you can add any formatting to your buttons that you have added okay so let me delete this let me go to the button option again click on the drop down and you see the option which says as blank so once i click on blank what happened here is there is a blank button which has been created here and you can again go to the button option and type any text the way you want you also have an option if you take a hover on that particular button what should happen so if I click on hover so what will happen the text that is given on that button will be highlighted so let me give you an example okay so now what I have done is I have added a text which says test button let me increase the size to 20 okay and what I have selected here is on hover so as I take the mouse here you will be able to see the text on that particular button okay as of now it is showing me blank if I hover to that button it is giving me the text that I have typed okay so this is how you can add a buttons and various text to the buttons you can format the button the way you want similarly let's see how we can add shapes uh, let me close this let us add some shapes click on this drop down you have various shapes that you want to add so let's say I want to add an arrow which says click here okay so this is how you it will look like you can adjust the way you want okay let me increase the size okay get the option here you have the fill option wherein you can change the color of the uh, you can change the color of that particular button you can add the transparency you can also add the text so let's see let me add a text which says click here okay so you see there is a text which has been typed as click here okay let me do off the text that you have typed is disabled okay so now just I click on on you get the option as click here and you have various options to play around with your shapes okay you also have the shapes option you have you can also do a heart you can also do an hexagon you have various shape options so that you can fill it here the way you want okay so this is how you can work or insert shapes buttons text box images into your power bi text shop okay so that's all about in this video hope you like this video please comment below and subscribe to my channel have a great day